Hello, I'm Todd Strother, and I work for Thermo Fisher Scientific in Madison, Wisconsin. And I'd like to talk to you today about polymer analysis we do with our Nicolet IS50 FTIR spectrometer. Our goals today are to collect near infrared spectra using the IS50 integrating sphere and collect near infrared spectra using the SABE IR probe that we have attached to the instrument. The labs that would use this particular instrument are QC, QA labs who are looking at incoming materials, also manufacturers who might want to control their processes, and production facilities that would be building methods, chemometric methods, to do their analysis. Let me go ahead and in introduce the instrument to you. First of all, it is an FTIR uh, spectrometer. This is the main bench. It has attached to it uh, the near-infrared modules, which can do in the near-infrared region. We also have a ATR attachment which can go into the mid and the far infrared region. We have a Raman module attached to the accessory compartment. And then finally, we can have other modules, for example, this GC equipment attached here. Today, we're going to look specifically at collecting spectra using the near infrared modules. So let me go ahead and get started. First of all, we'll look at the integrating sphere. And one of the things I want to uh, emphasize with the IS50 is that collecting spectra is as easy as just pushing a button. So I'm going to push the blue button here. The spectrometer will go through its paces where it swaps around different uh, light sources and uh, beam splitters. Eventually it'll be ready. We'll see on the screen that the instrument is uh, checking itself, making sure it all works out properly. And once everything works fine, we get a green check mark. Right now, the instrument is ready for, for the analysis. And what I'd like to do then is show how we can collect polymer spectra using the integrating sphere. Once again, all we need to do is push the button. A background spectrum is collected. And once the background spectrum is collected, we can just put our sample on the integrating sphere, and right now I have some polymer pellets that we'll put on, onto the integrating sphere. We push the button again. The sample cup spinner will spin, allowing you to collect more uniform data. And then when the analysis is done, the spectrum shows up on the screen. Now the next thing we can do is then collect near-infrared data using the SABIR probe. Once again, all I need to do is push the blue button. The instrument will go through the, its paces again to make sure all the mirrors are lined up for the say by our probe, and then it's ready for analysis. All we have to do, once again, is just push the button to collect a background spectrum. Once the background is collected, we can then take the probe out of the sleeve and go anywhere with it within three meters of our cable and collect data remotely. Right now I'll just collect spectra from my sleeve on my jacket. Once the data is collected, it then shows up on the screen. And that's essentially all you need to do. This is the, uh, the way to do uh, analysis very easy. You just push a few buttons and you can collect your spectra. So to finalize, our goals today were to collect near-infrared spectra using the IS-50 integrating sphere, as well as collect spectra using the IS-50 SABIR probe. Thank you.